So imagine here is Jesus. He comes to his disciples. He bows down. He removes his clothes. He ties a towel. Oh Lord, don't wash me. Don't wash me. You are my master. He said, no. If I wash you not, you have no part in me. So his blood is not towards God. His blood is towards man. Who needs the blood? God or man? What's the duty of the blood? To wash away? What can wash away my sins? What can make me whole again? Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood. So if the blood is for the washing of sins, who needs the blood, God or man? So the blood of Jesus, was it to appease God or to appease man? Exactly, because God is not the one angry. Now, stay with me because we're going to get into some things you will, you will enjoy in a few minutes. So his blood is towards man. That's why it's called a cathelage or a catalasso. It's not an atonement. And his blood is not physical dripping liquid. A preacher came to this church and talked about how that they removed blood from Jesus' hand, removed blood from Jesus during, uh, during circumcision, removed blood from Jesus' side, removed blood from Jesus' hands and from Jesus' toes, and that the blood is liquid. And this church did not receive the message well. He got angry with me after that service, and from that day, our relationship never remained the same. Is it my fault that ignorance is undressing you in public? He said, no, your church didn't receive me. Your church didn't receive me. He said, you told them that the blood is not liquid. And I told them the blood is liquid. I said, but is the blood liquid? How many pints of blood will Jesus have in his body that the whole world is drawing from? Because if Jesus is a man, which he is, and his blood is man's blood quantity, then the whole world cannot be removing the blood. That's a shorthand. Don't be angry at me. Be angry at you. Next time do your research well. Before you stand on Power City pulpit. A preacher told me, even if you pay me to preach in Power City, I will not come. <laughs> he said, I will not come. I have told everybody. I, even if you pay, I will not come. I said, I will not even pay your homework. The blood cannot be liquid. How many pints will you withdraw? How many? Okay, if the whole world is withdrawing blood from Jesus and Jesus is a man, how many pints does he have? And if you say his blood is supernatural, if it is supernatural, then it cannot be liquid. That means it is not matter. Which also means it is not what you are thinking. So that's why you don't sprinkle the blood. Where, which bucket is it in? That you are... You see cockroach? The blood of Jesus flies. The blood of Jesus. It will have finished before you were born. I'm teaching good. It's not liquid. His blood is his life given for us. His sacrifice in his death. His blood is eternal life in his resurrection. Eternal life in his resurrection. So as he kneels down and brings out the water, I see his blood shed for my sins because the water was a shorthand of saying as I'm washing your feet with water that is how I will wash your sins with my life. It was not giving us a feet washing service. 
He was not giving us instruction to start washing people's legs. If you read that scripture and all you understand is to be washing people's legs, you have joined the, the battalion of the Pharisees. He was saying, the same way I'm washing your leg with water. That's why I told Peter, if I don't wash you, you have no part in me. How can you have a part in me just by washing your leg? It was a shorthand. Of speaking about how that when you allow his sacrificial work to be applied in your heart, you become a part of his body. Am I teaching good? Stay with me. <clears throat> so, as I read the Bible more, I see that the spirit of God is now called the blood. It is the spirit of God that is the blood according to brother Paul. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 11. Observe. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 11. And such were some of you. But you are washed. You are sanctified. You are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. How are you washed? And by the spirit of our God. So you are washed by the indwelling of the spirit. So the indwelling of the spirit is the application of the blood. So the spirit is the blood of Jesus. Teaching good? We are sanctified by that spirit. So the blood and the spirit are interchangeably used for the life of Jesus in his resurrection. Paul will use blood because it is a shorthand of saying this is upon his resurrection by his death. But if you use by his spirit, you should have, have that Bible sense to know what he's talking about. By his spirit means by his blood. By his blood means by his spirit. So, to think that the blood was towards God and because God saw blood, he is no more angry. I want blood. I want blood. I want blood. It's okay, God, take blood. God says, okay, cool me down. I have seen blood. He's not a vampire. It's not God that wanted blood. God is not the kidnapper. It is only a kidnapper you pay ransom to. You don't pay ransom to God because God is not a kidnapper. He's not the one collecting ransom. He is the ransom. Jesus is the ransom for our sins. So the ransom cannot be the kidnapper. The ransom is paid to the kidnapper. He is the ransom. Tebala. Soteria 6. If you want further details, Soteria 6 and Soteria 4 has all of this in further exegesis. 